right, cool. So those are the three T's pairing. And what we're going to do is we're going to run a drill where I pull out the I pull out the parry we're doing. I want you to parry and then repost. Um, I will I'll try and do it a little bit slower this time just to make sure we've got time to get the costs in. Um, because I think you know it, it's very, very tempting to start doing it quickly. Um, not more so because it encourages people to do faster costs, but uh, that could be could go badly for um, Life fittings, so I'm going to slow. So I'm going to start by calling out which pair we're doing and demonstrating it. Um, and then, well, and then after all, I'm going to do this. I'm going to switch to the cuts that we're going to that you should be parrying so you get a little virtual lesson. So, low tears and repost. Tears. Tears repost. Tears repost. High tears repost. High tears repost. Low tears repost. Tears repost. High tears repost. High tears repost. Tears repost. Tears repost. Low tears. Repost. Low tears. Repost. High tears. Repost. High tears. Repost. So I'm just going to get rid of this basket. Oh, it's interesting. I'm not it um, It's not a bad basket design, it's just a basket design, assuming you're wearing um, a padded glove. When I wear the cross gloves, these things are fantastic, they fit really well. When I do it with just my regular fencing glove, not so much. Uh, which I guess it's good so I like, have you know a basket flipping over to remind me to wear their proper gloves and you know, a stick whacking over this is breaking it to be like right with the proper gloves. Alright, so from here, I'm gonna start throwing the cuts that you should be defending um, with this. So cut number two is defended by tears. Cut number three is defended by low tears. And cut number so cut number four. Cut number four, sorry, I'm just being honest. Cut number four is defended by low tiers. Cut number six is defended by high tiers. And these are just the parries for the purpose of the drill. Obviously, when you're doing this against an opponent, whatever closes the line, like what, you know, depending on where their tip, their tip is going to hit, whatever closes that line is the parry you do. And you can use multiple parries um, for the same cut. Um, you can also start one parry, go to another, and then repost as a way of discombobulating your opponent. Certainly, you know, like you know, tears and then low tears and reposting um, can be a way of, bait of you know, pulling your opponent's sword into confusion. So, tears, repost, low tears, tears, and remember to repost, remember to repost um, afterwards. I'm going to try and pause just. Just enough time. Low tears. High tears. High tears. Doing kind of this rolling thing. Uh, but it's actually a, a stick, uh, like a cane fighting move, but I'm not seeing it, so I don't think it's here. High tears. 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 Low tears. Low tears. High tears, high tears, 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 low tears, high tears, 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 low tears, high tears, tears, low tears, and tears. Right. So that should hopefully go on you reacting a bit, um, which is hopefully good. So we're going to move on to question time. Uh, incidentally, my trivia is less historical, more pedagogical, uh, namely that um, part of why I want you to do the movements randomly is when you do movements by numbers, so when I say, you know, tell you to do a demonstrate and tell you to do a movement and you try and do it back, 
what your brain is doing is copying me. So you're learning, basically learning mimicry, which is a really, which is a skill and a quite impressive skill. You look at like dancers are very, very good um, at mimicking motions. And it's really, really cool. Like there's a reason why dance is so admired. It's not a sword skill though. Sword fighting is about, is about high, you know, high pressure, high speed problem solving. So the parries I'm giving you are solutions to the problem of someone is trying to cut you. Um, and the reposts are then a solution to the problem of how do I hit the person? And getting you to do it randomly and reacting gets you thinking about doing that motion in response to stimulation. Um, normally in like partnered lessons, that response, you know, that's a reaction to someone doing the cut at you. Uh, we can't do that quite right now. So we're, I'm calling them and then calling and demonstrating the cut you would be responding to. But just doing it random does help kind of change how your brain processes it. Um, which is also when I do like class lessons and when I do them again, uh, the way I check what people have learned to the pre if people remember the previous lessons, not to ask them what they did in the previous lesson because I don't remember, but rather to ask them to solve the problems that I taught them how to solve in the previous lesson. So I'd be like, you know, how do you respond to this cut? You know? How, you know, how do you do throw this fame, that kind of thing. All right, so there haven't been any questions. Oh, we've got one. Um, James, I should stick to you on the, on the screen so that you're big enough that it looks like you're attacking me. <laughs> Fair enough. I, you, you, meant, you meant in the context of what you're watching me on. Not, um, yeah, that's, that's fair. All right, cool. And it looks like the only question.